Hi, I'm Bob Fox, principal at Fox Architects, and I publish Work Design Magazine. And today I'm really excited to have a conversation with Frank Cottle. We're talking about the next work environment competition, which is seeking to recognize talent for the most innovative, valuable, and high-performing work environments. So Frank, welcome. It's great to be able to connect with you. Thank you, Bob. I really appreciate it. You're involved in a very broad spectrum of the flex work world. Maybe if you could share your role and the kinds of things that you're working on. So we've been in the flexible workspace sector for 41 years. So to us, everything that we're seeing today uh, is a natural culmination as opposed to a revolutionary reaction. Today, we're focused on virtual officing, virtual reality officing, uh, um, we look at the, what used to be called the occupier of space. Uh, for the last five years or so, we've been referring to everyone as travelers. Uh, we don't think that any of us work anywhere so much as everywhere today. Uh, and so we have to have systems and buildings and, and structures that, that add to that. One of the benefits we have, aside from our operating companies, is we do have a publication, which I know you're familiar with, Bob, um, uh, that's focused on the future of work. Uh, so we're able to see an awful lot of what others are doing, not just what we're doing. And we reach over 8 million people a month with that publication. So it's, it's a great input tool for us. Give, give us a little sense about your background and how you got into this business. We started our current company in uh, 1980, uh, and 79, 80 actually, uh, and we started as a property company, building purpose-built buildings, designing buildings such as you're talking about in this competition. Um, uh, and we decided that we would build dedicated buildings specifically, this is in 1979, 80, mind you, to focus on flexibility in the workplace. Um, we started that with a big technology uh, edge. We had a partnership at the time with Bell Labs and another partnership with GTE that allowed us to explore the dynamics of combining people, place, and technology into a single flexible workspace product. And that's the foundation that we built buildings across the southwestern U.S., California, Arizona, and Texas to that end. Um, we migrated to operating what you would probably think of today as classic business or co-working centers between 90 and 2000. And when we ended in 2000, myself and, and our, our two, my two partners, and I was the smallest of the three, by the way, um, uh, 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 we had 195 facilities across North America. And we were the largest private operator of flexible workspace uh, in the world at that time. Uh, we made the decision in uh, 2001, um, after I bought the other partners out to change to a technology model. So today we're a software as a services company uh, providing a high quality workspace on a global basis. We operate in 54 countries um, uh, to everything from the Fortune 100 and governments on down to solopreneurs uh, in startups. Um, and it's been a, a really interesting migration from building buildings to operating buildings to now operating software systems that support flexibility in the workplace. Your background is very relevant to what we're trying to do. And I think you're going to bring some great insights. Um, but let me ask you, what are you hoping to see emerge from the competition? I, you know, I think that the challenge is always balance, uh, almost in everything. Uh, and so when we look at the coolest this or the greatest that, I always ask myself, well, is that going to be popular in five years? Um, I, so I look for things that aren't faddish, that aren't the flavor of the month or the reaction uh, so much. That's the thing that the things that look for long term planning uh, and really think carefully about the interaction that we started with of people, place, and technology together and how that's evolving. I'm just curious, you know, what kind of things would you like to see change as we emerge from the pandemic? And I think what I'd like to see is the management rethinking its structures, number one. Number two, um, adapting to the newest technologies more quickly. You know, space today is worthless without a good technology overlay. And companies go into these massive enterprise change management moves 
and they're ponderous and they're, they're difficult. And 90% of the people already know how to use it. Um, so I'd like to see companies really embrace today's technology instead of making the safe move uh, uh, on technology and allow a lot more freedom in the way that people office, um, whether it's from home, near home, uh, in the new structure of the office, the corporate headquarters, which will be quite changed in the future. Um, it won't be a place to work so much as a place to learn and meet, um, uh, uh, a place for mentoring and guidance as opposed to a place to perform a work function. Uh, and I think that that has a lot to do with what we'll see in the future. Now, for the individuals and teams preparing submissions for the competition, what kinds of things are you going to be looking for? What kind of recommendations do you have? I think I'll be a little contradictory here. I would look on innovations built upon a strong foundation of operating of, of, of operating in HR management. Um, it, you, you can be incredibly innovative. Um, there, there's a lot of things that are uh, cool, but not truly innovative in, in the great scheme of things. And so I think as we look towards the future and look towards the technologies that we'll use and the fact that people aren't occupiers anymore, they are travelers, um, that that will set a different tone for design uh, based on the different requirements of utilization. I think so. People that embrace the new uh, new structures of utilization and design to that model will be probably the most important factors uh, for other, others to consider. You bring some very unique and interesting and very relevant perspectives to this conversation. I just want to thank you again. I'm really excited to have you on the jury, and I'm looking forward to working with you on the competition. Thank you. Well, I'm excited as well. The opportunity to see so many new innovative um, um, options and ideas will I know stimulate a, a lot of the growth throughout the entire sector.